Hello and welcome. In this video I will explain resource calculation in BAS. What can you do with resource calculation? First, you can calculate the lead time for an item. Second, you can make a pre-calculation for a large forecast calculation in MRP. Third, you can create resource and bomb tables for custom reports. First, let's see how to open this window. Go to Item Structure and select an item. In the right-click menu, go to the second tab and select Calculate Resources. Here you can add the item range to calculate if necessary, define the item group and other properties, and select Lead Time Calculation and or Material and Resource Calculation to be started with the corresponding button. Another way to open this window is in MRP. Select the scenario and navigate to the Detail tab. There you can disable the calculation of lead time and calculate it manually by clicking the Open button and the Resources Calculate field. Let's see how the system calculates the lead time. Lead time calculation needs a simulated delivery date which uses the current day, that is today, and today plus 100 days. Based on this, the system creates a backward calculation counted back from the date of today plus 100 days. Please note that the calculated duration is in calendar days. Lead time is always specified in work days. Therefore, you must consider that is deduct all days with zero capacity from this, like weekends and other work-free days. In SAP, the calculated lead time is saved in work days in the Item Master Planning Data tab. The quantity with which the system works is the lot size per production, defined in the General tab. A routing plan must be defined for this item as a routing position. Its resource calendar uses the capacity definition stored in the resource calendar in the Resource Master Data Scheduling tab, counted from today plus 100 days. Besides the definition of the ending date, the time should also be set. This you can do with the Configuration Wizard, Capacity Planning, Production End Till Time setting. This determines from which time of the day the backward scheduling starts its calculation. In the Routing Position Definition, Extended tab, you can set a validity area, that is a valid time range for production. This way the system will only read routing positions defined for this period. All others are ignored. The following functions are supported by resource calculation. The short variant and the used variant is always variant A. Item version control also always uses the default one defined in the item master data. The variant system in the work order and the product configurator are not supported. Now being aware of the supported functions we go back to the item and calculate the resources. We insert the item and click on Lead Time Calculation. After the calculation, you can check the result in the Item Master Data Planning Data tab, where the Lead Time field shows the calculated result. In MRP, the calculation for greater duration may take considerable amount of time. Let's see how we can optimize this. In the MRP Wizard Detail tab, we have the setting Calculate Lead Time for Assembly. If this is activated, the system calculates the lead time for all order assemblies. This is important as every material has its own short variant, configuration and so on. But when you are calculating for a longer period of time where exact resource availability and the exact day, hour and minute for needing a certain material is not necessary, in most cases the week is enough. So for optimized performance you can deactivate this setting and the system will always use the lead time already defined in the Item Master Data, which is an average lead time based on the lot size also defined in the Item Master Data. If this setting is deactivated for a greater time period, you can calculate the resources manually, maybe once a month or when you've changed many items. Then you can calculate it by opening the function window, and once it has finished, you can calculate MRP. If you work with forecasts, the calculation can take a lot of time. You can accelerate this by activating Gross Calculation, which always works with the result of Resource Calculation as shown. 
It calculates the necessary resources and materials based on the today plus 100 calendar days and the production lot size defined in the bill of materials. You may want to use this process when you don't need exact information, for example when you'd like to calculate MRP for a period of two or three months. If you work with cost calculation, you must activate the material and resources calculate setting, because only then does the system save this information. And this is where we arrive at the last, third area, creating resource and bond tables for own reports. The information is always based on the lot size defined in the item master. In case of the item FP, we do the calculation and check the tables in the database. Select asterisk from BAS OITM material and BAS OITM resources. Here the base item code must be defined, in this case it is FP. In the bill of materials we can see all items that make up the entire structure in the complete quantity. If an item is required more than once, it appears in several rows in this table. The same is true for routing position. We can see the base item code, the resource ID and the resource time in minute. This time is for the lot size defined in the item master. If you need it per piece, you must divide it with the lot size. This concludes our summary of resource calculation in BAS. Thank you for your attention and please stay tuned for our upcoming videos.